this is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo Tarot back again with another reading. This time it is a romantic love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. For whenever you guys happen to watch this Thomas Love reading and it resonates with your particular situation, then this reading is for you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all of the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading. Okay. As always, guys, take what resonates with you in any tarot reading and leave the rest for someone else. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? So as I split the deck, we have the Seven of Cups and we have the Eight of Swords. So some of y'all have been trying to work through some illusions or some lies that someone has been telling you in the past or even now. Take it how it resonates. You feel stuck, you feel trapped, you feel like you don't have anywhere else to go in regards to a love connection or a partnership. So let's see what the cards have to say for Capricorn placements, okay? Divine Holy Spirit, what messages mm, do you have for my Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements concerning romantic love? All right, let me turn this light on here. There we go. That's a little better. We have the star card. We have the knight of swords. We have the two of wands. Now, when I was getting ready for you guys' reading, I heard Moving On by Maya, that song. So it might be relevant. Like I said, some of y'all feel trapped, but you want to leave the situation. But you don't really know how you're going <laughs> to... Oh, Lord. Okay, how everything's going to turn out. Okay, look. You're going to be all right, whatever you decide to do. But I feel like for a lot of y'all, you're seeing a situation or a relationship or a situationship as a karmic lesson. Once you've learned what you need to learn from this karmic, karmic that you're dealing with, you're going to move on. OK, uh, for some of y'all, you're going to be moving on to good luck to your soulmate. You're going to move away from a divisive situation. OK, um, for some of y'all, y'all might have been dealing with someone who had you in a par third party situation or they were dealing with multiple pe people outside of what you had going on with them at first it might have been cool to y'all at first you were like hey it's no strings attached you were like hey i'm working on myself i'm healing myself we can have this little relationship or this little um why well, i want to say friends will benefit or whatever the situation may be but I feel like now, the longer that you stayed in the relationship with this particular person, the more you felt like you wanted to run with the Knight of Swords energy, with the Two of Wands here. It's like, should I stay or should I go? It's like, you're in that energy, okay? Uh, maybe I need to look up that song. And that song, Moving On by Maya. It's like, you know that there is better out there in the world for you, but you're scared to get out there in the dating realm because you've been with this person for a quite... Um, a significant amount of time and you're like okay what should i do even though something they have done has broken your heart okay it's like you're gonna stay in there and battle battle it out with with the other people that's in the relationship um the other parties who are fighting for this person's attention it's like you feel like you've been there long enough or you or you've shown your loyalty for some of y'all or you have kept your mouth shut when even when this person was doing stuff that you didn't agree with like cheating uh because you didn't see it as like them cheating on you you saw it as oh well we're in a, in a relationship that's open we're um having fun we're doing our friends with benefits things thing but you don't even it's like you got in over your head you maybe caught feelings with for this person and you thought that you can do a friends with benefits thing or you can do a uh, situationship type of thing and it was it ended up being too much it's like you were vying for their attention and they had all these other people okay um with the empress card it's like maybe like i said maybe you have a child with this person or maybe they ended up getting someone pregnant in this situationship oh dear but i feel like for some reason you stayed or you're staying with this person for right now um, it's like you don't even know your value or know your worth for some some of you guys. Take it how it resonates. Um, it's like 
even you, Capricorn placements, don't even see or understand why you're dealing with this particular person still. Um, and people surrounding you, meaning your friends and family, they're looking at you like, okay, I never thought that he or she would take this. This is Libra energy. But I feel like this is some type of karmic situation with the um, Justice card here. This is Libra energy. And we have... Um, the Ten of Swords, that's Gemini energy. So I feel like it's something that you have to clear karmically um, in dealing with this particular person. Some stuff y'all wrapping up from previous lifetimes and it's like you're near the end of it or you feel like you've been drugged by your school, okay, um, with this particular person and what they're doing in this particular situation or what they have done because it could be past tense for some of y'all. I'm taking how it resonates for you. But I really feel like y'all know that uh, this is the end, but you kind of feeling like, but like you still have an attachment to this particular person or situation and you don't want to, um, you know, you got to go, but you really don't want to subconsciously, you know, you, you have to go, but consciously you, you fight and you like, okay, I'm gonna see if this person will choose me. I'm gonna see if they going to give it, they going to, uh, um, uh, it's some kind of weird sense of loyalty. I'm just being honest that you have towards this person, Capricorn placements, and they are literally or have um, dragging you through the mud. I feel like it's something about the ego where y'all just want to say that, Hey, you're with a particular person or no one ran me off away from my person, that type of energy when y'all just need to let it go and go on and live your best life. Once you let it go, you're at the end of this cycle with this person. Once you let go of the low vibrations, once you rise up out of the negativity and, and go from your heart chakra, heal your heart chakra, then guess what? You'll have the victory once and you'll be able to move on. But if you're steady back and forth with that person, steady going through woo, different trials and tribulations and cycles with them, you're going to, stay on that wheel that karmic wheel and you won't receive what is truly for you what is your destiny okay because right now you're at the 10 that means you're almost at the new beginning you have the 10 here with the 10 of swords completion and you have the will of fortune which is also a 10 it's up to you to decide what is best for you and how you will be moving uh in the future away from this connection or whatever the case may be i cannot tell you what to do i can only show you what is going on and point out hey this is happening here that is happening there but i can tell you one thing this particular person that you're dealing with whether they uh got pregnant by someone else or got someone pregnant is different for certain people it's like they have an affinity for this particular person and i honestly don't know if you want to stick around to see that because it's going to cause you a lot of pain and anguish okay dang okay let's see your spirit what additional messages do you have for ooh, capricorn sun moon rising and venus placements ooh, nose itching that happens on that channel y'all for this reading to wrap up this reading child that's a lot it's like you got with this particular person or got back with them when you were still trying to heal something from your past or some type of childhood wound and they could see whatever that was and they played on your emotions and all that that stuff your wounds and they kind of took advantage of you but you know it's some stuff that a lot a lot of us as human beings having a spirit spiritual beings having a human experience have to learn and go through and clear up karma so let's see okay y'all got ecstasy see see that's probably a problem when you're dealing with this person because you're letting physical intimacy make you feel like you can't live without this person you're thinking you're confusing physical chemistry with this person being your life partner okay you probably enjoy like because it says your partner elevates your mind body and soul now oh a karma can do that as well now it says the feeling of pleasure is electrifying and if y'all have ever seen the movie carmen jones this is where these characters come from she was uh playing this guy like a fiddle she liked him she loved him but she was playing him as well so that's something to look into okay 
with this life partner thing it's like you you're confusing a karmic someone who's teaching you some major lessons and helping you to clear some karma as a lifelong partner when they're just your partner for that moment for some of y'all ooh, baby it says this person is someone that you can enjoy life with wholeheartedly you two can get through anything together and i think that that's confusing some of y'all because you have been through so much but you're not looking at both sides of the coin yes you have been through so much but is that really what you want to go through now for some of y'all y'all like yeah i can i can weather that storm for others of y'all you're like this is too much to bear three of swords five of wands ten of swords you're like please let's let's just balance this out i need to move on it's like should i stay or should i go for some of y'all okay oh dear okay like i said some of y'all are thinking back to the fun memories that you have with this person in the bedroom memories just of y'all spending time together and is for some y'all is making things clear for you for others of y'all is clouding your judgment and for others of y'all y'all just reminiscing and reflecting before you leave i'm gonna be honest y'all i always keep it 100 with y'all so it says someone is walking down memory lane at this time it's okay to reminisce about the past by looking at old photographs or messages for some of y'all that's helping y'all to move forward for others of y'all it might be keeping you stuck because you're reminiscing you're looking at old messages and pictures yes but you're also thinking about steamy bedroom stuff and that's probably clouding your judgment and why you can't cut ties with this particular person so in the end only you know what you can tolerate only you know what you're threshold for pain is i cannot tell you to stay or go i can only show you what the cards tell me okay y'all have to make that decision for yourself what you're going to do for yourself okay all right so that is all i have for my capricorn simon rising and venus placements for whenever you have to watch this timeless love message i hope it resonated with you if it did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.